Hey y'all, welcome back to Just Another Shilling. It's Teresa, and today I got a fun treat for you. We are making banana brownies. These are really, really delicious and very decadent, and I hope you enjoy. So I softened my butter a little bit so that it'd be easier to stir. Um, I'm going to mix that in there with some sweetener. This is Swerve. I took one cup of Swerve, mixed it with about a teaspoon of blackstrap molasses and made a Trim Healthy Mama favorable uh, brown sugar. So as soon as the sugar is incorporated, I'm going to add my mashed bananas. Um, I take bananas that are going bad, I peel them and throw them in the freezer. Uh, and then when I'm ready to use them, I thaw them, squish them up with my hands while they're still in the plastic bag, and then I can use them in just about anything I want. So for this part, I'm going to grab my sifter. I'm going to add my baking powder and salt into it. I do use pink Himalayan sea salt. Um, it's just better for you in general. After that, we're going to add the cocoa powder um, and sift that through. I just get all those little lumps out. I'm eventually just going to press those through, but for now, we're just going to add the peanut butter flour. This is a fantastic addition to the brownies. It keeps it gluten free, it keeps it grain free, and it adds just enough moisture. It's going to make it delicious. Of course you can't forget the chocolate chips. They uh, just add a little bit of texture to this. It's going to make it super yummy and totally rich. Um, as you watch me stir, you're going to see it get very, very thick. Um, that is because of the peanut flour. It does soak up a lot of the moisture. But don't worry about it because these are going to be super chewy and super yummy. So now we have two options. Um, you can take this and put it into a loaf pan and make a uh, chocolate banana bread out of it, which is delicious. Um, or you can do what I'm doing and make them into brownies. This recipe is completely versatile. Um, I made these into brownies. Admittedly, I made them a little bit too thin. I think next time I'm going to use a thicker pan. They sort of kind of fell apart a little bit when I was going to cut them. Um, but that doesn't take away from their delicious flavor uh, and how absolutely yummy they are. If you don't already have them, I encourage you to get angled spatulas. Um, I love how they don't get your hand right up next to everything. I have a couple in different sizes, and they just make spreading out stuff very, very easy. Um, sometimes my husband even uses them just to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches.
So you'll know these are done when a toothpick comes out clean and the brownies are all pulled away from the edges. Once that is happened, you want to get these into the refrigerator or the freezer to cool down. Um, just so that when you go to cut them, it's a lot easier. I took these out of the pan. They did break a little bit, uh, but that's okay. They're still really good to eat. Uh, it's mainly because I just made them way too thin. Uh, I cut these into about one by one inch squares. Uh, two squares is more than enough, and if you're doing Trim Healthy Mama, it puts you right at an S setting, almost a fuel pole. I hope you enjoyed watching my banana brownie video. Uh, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share my videos. We'll see you next time.